Hello and welcome to North Harbour Stadium for coverage of this Round 4 Women's and League Premiership match here on uh, Wednesday Night Footy. And this is a match between the defending champions Manurewa up against the new team into the competition, combined team between Point Chev and Ponsonby named City. Both teams coming in with a win and, a, and two losses into this uh, game tonight. City losing to Howick and Otaro made a fast start to the competition but beating Otahuhu by 24 points to four. Manurewa, big loss to Otara in the first round. A, heft, a comfortable loss here two weeks ago against Mount Albert, but they bounce back to beat Tani Faro, the Huntley-based team, by 26 points to six. Kiwi Ferns captain Manurewa Stalwart is with me, Crystal Rota. Good to see your team get in the two competition points finally, eh? Yeah, it was good to see them get in the two points on Sunday. They played really well and extremely proud of the ladies. But look at Howick, Otara and Mount Albert. Haven't they made a fast start? Three wins from three, all three teams. I've got to say, the two games I've seen Howick play, they've looked terrific. But Otara look hot as well, don't they? Yeah, Otara started very strong this season. And it's exciting to see these teams doing so well. Howick are looking very strong. And it just makes the competition so much more interesting and so much more fun. Yeah, looking forward to seeing... Uh, this game coming forward with Crystal Rota joining us for the commentary today. And how do you see this game unfolding from talking about Manorewa first of all? Been through a lot of players already and it's been a dis- very disrupted start to the competition for Rusty Matua and his team. Yeah, it's been a very disruptive start. Um, I mean, they started with two teams last year to win two championship and premiership. And so now they're actually, you know, the girls have been struggling to get numbers um, for the one side. So um, obviously they've played a lot of um, different players. And then on the flip side, you know, City's um, amalgamated two teams together. So, you know, things haven't been easy for them either as we see the City team here. Yeah, let's have a look at the City team. Good to see Paris Pickering back in New Zealand. She just spent some time with Manly over in the Tasha Gale Cup. That's the New South Wales Malesman's uh, competition uh, that uh, she's back in New Zealand to play. But uh, plenty of Akarana and Auckland Vulcans representation through this team, like Mia Holo, number eight, Pearl Tuitama, number nine. Uh, we've also got... Uh, Tauhala Liku back in the centres tonight as well and looking forward to seeing all those players in action again tonight with Nancy CK, Tanaka Jazz, Noble Bell off the bench tonight which is an interesting call by City coach Bronson Harden and here is the Manarewa Marlins and I guess the big in for them tonight is Crystal Stowers uh, who missed the first two games of the season, Crystal. Yeah, she missed the first couple of games. She played against uh, she played against Tani Faro on the weekend and made a whopping like 42 tackles. So uh, she had a blinder of a game on the on Sunday. And looking forward to seeing her play tonight. Interesting decision too to see Mary Jane Finau start off the interchange for Manarewa as we meet the captains for these two teams. Uh, Talofa, my name is Maitu Federica, and I play for the Manarewa Marlins. I just love it how they create opportunities, not just for our older ladies, but for the grassroots of our younger girls that are coming through. Um, and that's all about it, our rugby league. Uh, we've been taking it out for a couple of years, but I think, again, creating an opportunity for them to experience that um, the feeling of champions or losing. Um, just knowing that they can make a difference, not just rugby league, but it's just skills that they can take um, to study, school, um, all of that. My name is Daniela Paina. I think our team's um, built on a lot of culture, so, you know, being one of the oldest clubs around, we bring a lot of, um, say, stamina, a lot of energy, awesomeness. <laughs> Leading to the games as we get the two teams out onto the field. Manorewa's coach, Rusty Matua, of course, and a touched on City's coach is Bronson Harden, who coached the Auckland Vulcans last year as well. So it should be an interesting game, this one. Of course, the Manorewa team, very different from when you won the title with the team last year, right? Oh, very different. Um, a lot of these uh, players were playing um, in the championship side um, who have now come up to the Premiership side, and there's a lot of girls um, that have sort of moved across to Australia. But kind of say we're the Manorewa Marlins are in the rebuilding phase, but it's good. It's good to see some new up-and-coming talent and some new ladies coming through as well. And I'd say it's the same for the City side. They've got a couple of new players, and having two teams come together, um, 
it wouldn't be so easy for them at the start of the season either. So Brent Newton got the whistle for this one. Round four action. Going to be Manurewa to kick us off. Time you run! No, Rikshay Lamalu tonight for Manurewa as well, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? See her playing it straight away. There's going to be a penalty for a head high tackle. So right from the first tackle, Manurewa concede the penalty. As Tuitama gets things underway from Tommy Huff, very experienced hooker. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And now here is Mia Holo. She's lost the ball. Another penalty going out the back. And we notice too, a lot of these numbers are uh, all over the place for the city team in particular, but we will pick them up. Good defense coming in right there. Good tackle there by Shaki Stowers, Crystal Stowers. Good to see Lani Latour Williams back in the game, too. Very experienced oh. player who sort of hasn't been playing much, so it's good to see her back. Here's Mia Holo once again. Oh, Stow was wearing 18, by the way, for Manurewa. Oh. Not the biggest player, but she plays with a lot of heart and courage. Nice angled run on the cutback there for City from Purcell. And here is Pickering picking the loose ball up there, but she's lost it. I think there's an injury back in the field of a field there. Glenn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it looks like one of the Manurewa players, Munukoa, I think it is, who's yes, just struggling is. a little bit. She's played all three games for the Marlins so far. Just struggling a little bit. They wouldn't want to lose her. Nguyen International from 2020. She's played well in the games that Manurewa have played so far this season too, so they won't want to lose her inside the first couple of minutes. No, definitely not. Um, need your starting props. Uh, looks like she's ready there to pack in the scrum, so hopefully she's she's okay to continue. It's going to be Anderson to feed the scrum. It was a good initial shot coming in from City's number 15, Molia Fraser. She now is starting. She is there wrestling to play the ball. She is a powerhouse out on that left edge. And now Lysantara. Stowers now. Experienced rip player too, New Zealand Māori All-Stars player as well. Off the Tara once again. And there goes the kick from Idaho Stowers. Nicely taken at the back by Pickering. And here is Pickering, young player. Already has experience in Australia. Just got the one game at the Tasha Gale Cup, but still good to see her giving it a crack over there too, Crystal. Yeah, I love that that competition's oh, available fight. for go the young through. ladies in the Tasha Gale Cup, and especially the fact that it gives our girls over here an opportunity to go over. But it's good to have her back in New Zealand and playing for the city oh, side. Okay. Also playing, of course, for you know an NRLW contract. That's what uh, I guess the Please ultimate goal is now. for these young players that go over, like Paris, Paris Pickering. <laughs> Penalty there to City. Position in the field off. too as penalty was given away by Tara. A little bit sloppy in the ruck. Rewa, come up to me. Um, third penalty yes. already in the game and it's only a couple of minutes in. So money do I need to sort the discipline out there. Caspin it is. Straight up the middle goes Summer Caspin. Tuitama trying to go through traffic there. Now Holo. Always like Mia Holo. She's always good. Post-contact meters runner. She is, Glenn, such a strong runner. Yeah, Auckland Vulcans player 
from last year. And this is Caspin again. Three, two, stand. Get three marker. Go for the Tui again. Nice cutback on the angled run from Nine Purcell. Nine Purcell getting close there. So big chance here for City. Tui Tama just a couple of metres out. Nicely picked up. There's ba- space on the right hand side here for Tauhalaliku. Great offload. And I think the try. No. No try there by Latu. Held up. Great effort there by Tangaloa. What a great tackle there by Molly Tangaloa. Desperation um, in defense there from the Manidua Marlins. That was actually a good set by City. Some strong, powerful runs by their middles, especially in Holo. Oh, how about Tangaloa, though? It was a great effort from her to hold up here. Tauhala Liku and then Latu. You would have thought once Latu caught the ball there, it was a try for all money. I thought it was a try for sure, but what a brilliant tackle that was. Manurewa hold on just in these opening few minutes. Against some pretty powerful ball runners in the city team. One of our uh, point chef and Ponsby, good sides in the competition last year, weren't they? And now a penalty. Munakoa, who's recovered from that injury. And there isn't some offside play. This is needed here by the Marlins. So Rex Anderson it is. She found touch. She hasn't found touch. City have got it 40 metres out. To Itama waiting at dummy half again. Lovely catch there by Tauhala Liku. And now Molia Fraser. Good to see Nessa back too. Yes. She's been missing for a while and she's such a strong player too and international. Absolutely. Latour Williams. Point chef Pirates player from last year as several of these players were. That's a great option to spread it out onto this left wing side. Kamuhemu isn't going anywhere fast. Eh? He's two years out of high school. As Pickering, Pickering plays dummy half. Now it's back to Caspin again. Poking a nose through almost, but Stow has just hung on to affect the tackle. Good hands. Beautiful pickup from Latour Williams. Here's to Itama once again. They're really keen, the City team. Here's a nice option. Is the kick too strong? It is, though. Wow, well, well. City getting themselves into field position again, Crystal. But Manu, they were doing well to hold them out. They are doing well to hold them out. It's just unfortunately it didn't execute that kick. Um, a little bit too heavy. Alexis Hapuku. See the replay here. The option was good, but unfortunately the weight of the kick was a bit too heavy. Hand off now! Hold. Give space. Go. One. Tangaloa with that play the ball. Joseph. Here comes Eli. Stowers with the ball now. Two. Good tackle coming in there from Purcell now. again. Oh, A little dart from dummy half from Hapuku. That was a good search from her. Good 12 metre gain. Anderson. And Stowers oh. again. Stowers is a diminutive player, but gee, she works hard all the way through the game and demands high intensity. Joseph out to Stowers. Knocked forward, unfortunately, by Karaka Whitaker. And it's going to be City Ball. Put the kick up there, Idaho Stowers. Yeah, a bit of a knock on. From Karaka Whitaker. Got a try against Mount Albert and their loss here a couple of weeks ago. 
Mount Albert are another team that's been pretty good. They're a really dogged, gritty team. It just doesn't give up. Here is Tuitama. City certainly looking better of the two teams so far with the with the ball, but Manurewa scrambling nicely. It's Tuitama. We've got a good hooker in Tuitama who's getting their forwards running onto the ball, getting the city side some good momentum. Yeah, there she is again. Standing flat this time, Mia Holo again. The young prop goes forward. To Itama again. Oh, there were players forward of the kick there from Brian Fortes. Nicely taken. By I reckon the smallest player on the field there. And it's Karaka Whitaker. Pretty ferocious defence on her. She did well to hold that ball. We've got a break down oh, the sideline here. A big break down here. the sideline here. Superb run by... Molly's Tangaloa. Yes, Tangaloa. She's made 40 metres there. And a penalty on the back of it as well. And this is the first time we're going to see Manurewa push deep into oh, she's cities. Oh, she's sending her. She's sending her to the red bin. zone. Yeah, red zone. There's a... Who is that being seen? I think it's Summer Caspin. Let's have a look here. She's running back there, makes the tackle. Let me hear, City. And according to the referee, that's a professional foul. That's a big loss. She's had the, the strong starts of the game. Come in, Some Come powerful in, runs. Yes, on your tail. Yes, Summer Caspin didn't play last year in the club season due to a knee injury. So here's Manurewa with a a big chance to take the lead. And they have been basically stuck in their own half for the first 12 minutes. Let's see if they can make something of this. Yeah, Jane Finau, such a strong player. Yeah, she is very impressive. Got uh, tries in the first two games and was basically unstoppable every time she got the ball. Here's Stowers back to Tara. So inside to 10 go the Marlins. Joseph. Here's Stowers again. Trying to find gaps between those two defenders. Joe to see Joseph again. Anderson has got the kick. Maybe didn't quite get the depth on it she was looking for, but there's still a chance here from Takawa. Here's Hapuku again. That's the goal line right there. Last play now for the Marlins. Oh, a little mm. dive at the line, and the opportunity goes begging from Rax Anderson. Maybe not the best option, but and considering the position they're in on the field, it's um, it's okay for the Marlins. If they can force an error here, and there's a head high uh, tackle, and high tackle drifting up again. Some good defense there by City to hold out Anderson. No, in fact, it wasn't a penalty. So. <laughs> <laughs> he comes pickering with that run for City. The young fullback. Some good tackling coming in now from Monukoa and Repia. I was in there making a tackle, another tackle with Joseph. I feel like uh, pretty much City have made all the running, but have no points to show for it, and now a penalty. It's been conceded again by Manurewa. Another penalty. On the line. Play on. Here's Mia Holo. Good run from her. Quickly. Been the go-to player up the middle for City so far this season. And off now. Latour Run Williams, back, fast play the ball. This should get City on a nice roll as Tuitama looks to capitalise. Pinches 10 metres. Tara making the tackle. 
looking at the referee, hoping he wasn't going to blow his whistle again. <laughs> Here's Paris Pickering through the middle. Pickering! Another beautiful tackle by Tangaroa. It's a second try saver from her, Tuitama. Good hands. Big chance for City if they can spread it. But look at the defence from Manurewa. It is gutsy play from them again. Last play now for City. And it's a low percentage play from Nine Purcell. Again, we saw something similar at the other end of the field just a moment ago, Crystal, didn't we? Yes, we did. Probably not the best last um, options to the set. Um, yeah, it could be going going a little bit to the edge or even spinning it back to the open side, putting a kick through, but let's see what um, Manidua can do from this end of the field. Well, look, the defence from City is very keen. In fact, the tackling for both teams has been excellent so far. And there's an example of that right there. Mia Hollow with that nice shot. Oh, Tangaloa's pass is a bit dodgy. Picked up beautifully, though, by Finau. And here is Karaka Whitaker again. They're having a great battle out on that side, aren't they? Tahole Liku. Oh, what's going on here? All sorts of shenanigans. And I think the referee's going to rule a loose carry. So it's going to be a scrum to City. It's been a bit sloppy on both sides in that ruck. Oh, Finau lock dropping the ball there. If there's any doubt about that. Remember, all this has been happening while City being down to 12 players. Here's TJ Noble Bell looking to get back on the field, <laughs> create some havoc. It's a good player, TJ. Surprised to see her coming off the bench, but in saying that, she's good impact. Um, she'll be good impact for City in doing that. Yeah, she played with, uh, of course, with you at the Warriors. Yes, she did. In RLW a couple of years ago now. Yep. We played club together and also um, at the Māori Nationals, so I played along TJ on several occasions. You're always good to have her on your side rather than the opponent. Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> lovely, lovely skip run again, and here a City down into the red zone again. So the Marlins' defence has been excellent so far. Can it hold firm again? He's pickering again. She's playing in the Yakarana 18s last year. Tournament team she made. Very promising player is Tuitaba. Well, might be just a hard charge to the line from Mia Holo. Tuitama. What can they cook up this time? Cutting back on the inside is Puru Tongia who's out there now. Playing in the centres. Tuitama again, almost caught on the hop there at dummy half. What can they cook up this time? Oh, that's come forward. I think they're off a Marlins player. Should be play on. Oh, no. Has he ruled knock ons both ways there? It's caught a knock on. Against City. Against well, City. Well, well. Interesting call. I thought that come off the hands of Eli. Well, that's definitely a knock on from from Manurewa first for me there. Yeah, it definitely was. Can't got away with that. one there, eh, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> definitely got away with that one. That come off Eli's hand. But I'm sure um, the Get Marlins it. will be happy to be having a scrum at this point of the field. Oh, still nil all. Feels like there should have been some points by now, but it's been a good, intense game. Is that a forward pass? Yeah, it is a forward pass. That was just shocking uh, play there by the Marlins on the first. On the first. And that they're not in a very good field position. They're going to be defending their own line. They're going to have to work hard here. Tangaloa has already made two try saving tackles. That trend might have to continue here. Ooh, that pass, not accurate. And they've lost 10 metres straight away. Has City. And this is. Vai. Who has uh, dropped the ball. Oh, there's a stone cold drop that time from Puru Tongia. And Manurewa survived again. 
Yeah, they've got a get out of jail free card on that one, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> Another penalty as Tiri is out there now and earning a penalty for the Marlins. Manito and Marlins just need to get some go forward, no, get some Fino. momentum happening. Now Fino oh. wants to get those big legs pumping. Stowers, that's Crystal Stowers. And coming back on the angle is Tariya Eddy again. Second game of the campaign for her. Came off the interchange in round one. And she's hurt now, unfortunately. Time's off, Nick. Time's off, Nick. Time's off. You're good. Maybe just uh, got a shoulder injury there. Oh, yeah, she got hit hard by Mia Holo. So, uh, Mia Holo is one of the more impressive props in this competition. She definitely is. Holo and Latoa Williams, that's some damaging defensive line right there. Global Bell doesn't look like she's too far away. She's been uh, waiting to come on for a little while. Make me hit, Teddy! So, it's a shame for Tariya Eddy, who's uh, going to get that shoulder looked at. Doesn't look happy, does she? No, she looks like she's in a bit of pain. Uh, might have been a stinger or something, we'll see. There's some good post contact meters made by Repia, but again, the tackle. Is, uh, that mark is not square, it's Faye that time. It's been a lot of penalties um, out of the marker position. Must be quite dewy out there on the grass. Very um, much so. With all these ball handling errors. On the 20, Sidney, on the 20, please. Well, Tangaloa has been one of the stars so far with those two brilliant tackles. She has. She's just come back from Australia. She's playing for the Rabbitohs um, over there in the Harvey Norman Cup. So she's. this isn't a pre-season game for her or an early season game. She's actually probably in the peak of her, um, of her performance uh, at this point. So she's a very big asset to the Manirua Marlins. Good to have her back. Stowers. Joseph waits at dummy half. And now Repia. Every time she's touched the ball, she's looked powerful so far. That's the 10 metre line. Big chance for Manurewa. Once again, good hands. Oh, I was going to say good hands until Finau dropped it. Commentators first, man. <laughs> well, that happened instantly. I said it, didn't it? What a shame. Because they had a good roll on there. I think they need some sticky spray out there for the hands. Yeah, and super glue too. Yes. Yeah, it's a shame Finau. Once she gets goes, gets that speed, that leg drive going, Crystal, she's a hard player to stop. Oh, she definitely is. She's a big body, Mary Jane Finau. Such a good player. Unfortunately, there with a the ball handling error. City let off the hook again. It's Lavinia. Oh, go one. Looking for that offload that time was Noble Bell, but didn't get it that time. One thing Man of Manorewa have done well is crowd those defenders. They've all ta they've tackled very well in the game. Tuitama, and now Tohalaliku once again. It's a halfway line. Noble Bell again. Good post contact meters by the experienced middle forward. Go last. To Itama. Here goes the kick from Fai. And it's straight down the throat here of Hapuku, who's off and running. And great driving tackle from Pearl to Itama. That's a beauty. That is great defensive. Good line speed on that kick chase from the city side. 
Tungaloa. Away goes Anderson. Good run from Anderson. Move quickly. He's tackling the end from Pudu Tongia again. His Stowers looking to link between the forwards and the backs once again. Or get those big driving forwards. Puku that time was driven backwards in some good D. That was a brilliant tackle. I think she's lost the ball in that play, play the ball there. Yeah, a little error that time. She might have been shooken up a little bit from that that strong tackle, which I believe was from Nessa Wilder Fraser. So his city right on the halfway line with a full set. 14 minutes to play until half time. Paris Pickering taken by oh! Kayla Eli. Let's see what they can do in the middle of the field this time. It's Caspin Bat out back out there after being in the Sinbin for 10 earlier. Now Noble Bell hits the, the line nice and hard. Oh, she's dropped it. Picked up by Manurewa. And the opportunity goes begging again. Stowers. I must say City did well uh, to be playing with 12 players and not concede any points. Always a good tackle from Kamuhem who just did enough. Stay together. Disrupt. Make me, make me. In fact, he finished it off. He's a good little dart coming out of dummy half by Joseph. Haven't seen her run too much so far in the game, but she's a good player. Crystal Stowers again. She's gone nowhere, Mia Holo. Another great tackle. Has she been the best player on the field so far, Mia Holo? In this game, she'll be close to it. She definitely would be close to it. She's been strong defensively and attackingly. Now Tahaliliku is back there. This is Latu coming forward. Nice here, Latu. Got one try last week against Otara in that 26-20 defeat that City had. Tahaliliku, that's a good run. Some very tired bodies out there at the moment, Glenn. Well, it could be time to score some points. Hopefully. Hopefully Moyatu with that run. Now there's some space for her again. Sarah for Moyatu. To Itama, the ruck speed is excellent. This could be tailor-made here for City to score the opening points. Away goes to Itama. That's Caspin. And that's the end of the set. I'm not sure about all these um, sixth and final options. I'm not sure if they're um, unaware of the tackle count, but seems to be going to, to ground with the ball um, quite often, which isn't usually the case. So there hasn't really been many kicking oh, options man. going up. Well, Rusty Matua, plenty for him to think about with half time not far away. Battle this one. I can already hear what Rusty would be saying. He'd be t telling the girls do the basics the best and simple values, Move. which I don't yeah. think uh, the Marlins are doing at the moment. Now let's see if they can get to their kick on this set. That's Puku to Itama. Oh, there's a little play the ball error, but it's a penalty to Itama. Has been penalised. That was very lucky because that was a very sloppy play the ball. In conditions like this, you've got to pick up the ball with both hands and play it because trying to play it with one hand um, when it's slippery is going to end up like that. So Tough call. That's a tough call against Tuitama. Here's Karaka Whitaka. Gets stuck in, doesn't she? Good tackle from Tahole Liku. And she's going to be penalised for not being square at marker. That was a fairly obvious one. Yeah, that's probably the second time that she's done that as well. Yeah. 
Well, big chance here for Manurewa. Coming up to half time, Crystal. Yes, this is their opportunity. Well, one of these teams, one of the, the, the most animal quality for both of them is they've tackled really well. They haven't given up. Noble Bell with that tackle. Stow was demanding possession. Joseph. Here's Tiria Eri. Five metres out. Can Manurewa crack the city defence on this occasion? Joseph. Oh, back on the inside is Finau, and she's got it down. Mary Jane Finau gets the try. That's a trademark score for her right under the post as well. And that's a textbook um, move there by the Manurewa Marlins where they come out from dummy half, dummy one way, and then pick up the inside runner on a dummy, on a cut. And no other than Mary Jane Finau to be powering over the try line to score under the post. What a brilliant try. Well, Finau gets another try. She's been getting plenty of them this season. And uh, we're seeing a vastly improved Marlins team from the one we saw in that first Round loss to Otara, 80 points to six. They got hammered in that game, Crystal. Now, this is a different team now, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's definitely a different team. That was very hard to, to watch that um, that game, Glenn. Um, but the girls are improving week by week, showing up to training, and as a result, um, obviously improving. And I guess that's all you can ask for as a coach. So um, good on the girls for digging in. And obviously it's good to have players like um, Molly here, Molly uh, Tangaloa back uh, from Australia and Kayla Eli who's also come back from Australia so they strengthen the team um, a lot more and also Crystal Stowers who's back last week as well Tangaloa in front of the post no problem there, 6 points to nil hope you're enjoying our coverage of Wednesday night footy for the third week now earlier tonight it was the Mount Albert Lions in the Fox Memorial Championship beating Bay Roskill by 30 points to 16. First win of the season for Mount Albert. Both of these two teams here in this Women's and League Premiership match trying to get their second win from four games. <laughs> <laughs> Love the celebrations there. Yes, yeah, did she get it? Did she get it? Oh, yes! <laughs> Well, City shouldn't be discouraged. They've had uh, they've done basically everything in the first half except score any points. Remember, they've uh, been over the line on one occasion. There's that try-saving tackle from Tangaloa, but they should definitely not be discouraged. They've had some very good defensive efforts, put on some very big hits, especially in Holo in the middle third there. Manurewa bringing the ball back through to the Eri. Joseph at dummy half again. Eddie in there trying to make another tackle to Itama as well. On Repia. Joseph's going to take a, a run this time, the hooker. Don't think she had any choice. She didn't really have anyone available to run with her. Ah, had no option really as Repia takes the next carry again. Right now. Joseph. Stowers. Looking a little bit disorganized here, the, the Marlins, but Anderson now tries to create something, but it's nicely anticipated. By City. Kamuhemu it was, the winger. Here's Pickering. She's been very busy this game, Pickering. She's getting highly involved in the kick returns. It's Tahila Liku again, and she has created another penalty there for a highest tackle. 
Lavinia Tauhalulaku, every time she's touched the ball, Crystal, she's looked dangerous. Oh, she is a dangerous player, and I've played alongside her and against her, so I know what she's capable of, and you get her into open space, and she's got, she's got speed to burn. She's a brilliant player. I'm surprised she hasn't been picked up for NRLW, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, oh no, milking, go one. Tuitama. This is Puru Tongia again. Well, she still maybe picked up a course by a you know, Rail W team. I think there's still a few spots floating around, isn't there, Crystal? Yeah, I, I think there is. So hopefully there's some um, talent ID scouts uh, watching in on tonight's... Uh... Absolutely. Tuitama. Nice hands from Fortes. He took the tackle that time. Down now. Here we are. 12 metres out of City. Still with another tackle up their sleeves. Tuitama gives it to Noble Bell. And a penalty. Oh, big chance now for City. With five minutes to play until half time. I would dearly love to get another try. And now CK is out there. Her first touch of the ball. Nancy CK is over to score. Again, maybe a touch surprising not to see her start the game. CK, who's been impressive for City so far this season, has got the try. It's six points to four. Didn't look like much was going on. Just a, a simple tap from a penalty. <laughs> One tackle missed by Stowers. And then another three players there that couldn't get CK down. And she's in to put... City on the board. Well, she played in last year's grand final. They get four points she have against you guys. Nancy CK, Nakarana player last year too. Yeah, she was strong in the in the grand final too, Glenn. Powerful runner. And she was right here. Four defenders in the process of her scoring that try. So Here's a chance for City to draw level now. Nine per cell it is. Ooh, interesting technique, but you know what? It doesn't matter how it goes over, it's if it goes over. Yep, that's all that matters. Six or points all. Be one of the lowest um, kick conversions I've seen, but she gets the two points, and that's all that matters. Exactly right. Well, <laughs> exactly. Doesn't matter. It's through the middle, and the flags are up. That's all that counts. Gets the two points. Well, it's game alive again, isn't it? Two tries in similar fashion. Two very evenly matched teams. Time you run. We'll see how these last few minutes go in this first half. Here's CK, the try scorer. Already squeezing between defenders, attracting defenders. Ten, hands off. Oh, to Itama. City playing with confidence now. Off the left, Noble Bell. To Itama waits again. Now look at the space. The ruck. And another high tackle. The penalties are absolutely killing the Manirua Marlins. Just on the chin there. Yeah, Summer Caspin, it was running it up there. And that ball's just popped clean out. So City can't unfortunately take advantage of some good field position. Opportunity missed there. Few okay, ball handling ladies, errors. Well, it is Dewey. <laughs> I don't know if both teams would be happy with the amount of opportunities that are less slip tonight so far, Crystal. No, I definitely don't think so. It's been a lot of ball handling errors. It's good ball movement that time by Manurewa. 
Oh, halfway. Pickeringer was making that tackle. Stowers. Crystal Stowers. Hands off! Hold. And now here comes Morris. Another high tackle. I don't know whether the referee should actually just start talking to both teams here. Send a clear message to them, Crystal. What do you think? Yeah, definitely there's been... Um, one too many uh, hit high tackles in the game. Just needs to pull the captains aside and let them know we're not going to have any more or someone's going to the bin. That's usually what happens anyway, Glenn. Well, Casper, Summer Casper, it was making that high tackle. She's already been in the bin for a professional foul in, the, in this half. Last minute here now in the first half. Can Anderson create something for Repia? Can Manurewa? Score a decisive blow just before the break here. Crystal Stowers. Tangaloa up from fullback. It's on here. Here's a big charge of the line. I tell you what, there's a score. It's Eli going over. They haven't really seen the big powerhouse centre involved too much in the game so far. We got a glimpse of it right there. And there is a second try for the Marlins. Great try by Kayla Eli. She played outstanding last week also against um, Tani Faro, but as we see here in the replay, good ball there from Tangaloa. A little bit of a dummy on the outside, step back inside, and too powerful. Nice try there to get Manidewa on the board again and take the lead. Oh, Eli there. Very good try for her. Well, we had... Little score line for 30 plus minutes and then three tries in the last 10 minutes. It looks like Eli's going to try and convert her own try here. There was a few doubts that she'd be playing tonight. She got a bit of a calf injury um, last weekend, so. Oh, oh, hard luck for, for her hitting the crossbar. So that will be half time. And Manurewa have got the advantage, not by much. Been a very even first half here at North Harbour Stadium in this round four women's and premiership, prim, women's and league premiership match, rather. It is Manurewa, the defending champions of this league, winning over City by 10 points to six. My teammates will describe me as probably the vocal person in the team, um, the one that probably communicates. Um, I would probably say the one that kind of like lifts and keeps the team together. Um, the coach will probably <laughs> describe me as um, the annoying partner. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, my teammates would describe me as the quiet one. Annoying. <laughs> um, funny, um, hint of humour, and the passion for the game. Yeah. And I'll say I'm like the skinniest, the fastest. <laughs> that, um, probably that I'm loud. <laughs> um, and yeah, that I give a lot. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all about the music, man. It is all about the music. So, you know, before, I'm like a duff duff girl, so, you know, when the music is on, I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, ladies. Music brings the energy. I love it. <laughs> Welcome to Dating Projects, where we make your interior fit-outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project, and we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit-out on time. 
quantity survey here. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. The decisions we make matter. The cloth you put on your back, that comes from somewhere. Ours is Ecotech and it comes from here. One of these equals 38 of these, not in landfill. High performance fabric worthy of what you stand for. Points to six here, half time in the round four match here on Wednesday night footy between City and Marlins in the Women's and League Premiership. Two tries to one. Finau and Eli for Manurewa and CK for City. Let's have a look at them. It was an interesting half with a lot of penalties, a lot of handling errors, and then we saw that from Mary Jane Finau, powered over the line. She's devastating in those circumstances, Crystal Rota. Oh, she is. She ran her corners off the hooker, um, just come back against the grain, and too powerful to score a beautiful try for the Marlins underneath the post. Four points to nil, converted by Tangaloa, 6-0 to the Marlins. But then we saw something similar straight after this, and Nancy CK had just come on in the field and pretty much did the same thing. Yeah, there was nothing happening. It was just a penalty tap, and usually you have your forward come through and, and sort of set you up, set to a point. But she wasn't setting to no point. She was setting, uh, making a point and scoring a try on her first touch of the game, and a beautiful try there by CK uh, to get City on the board. Yeah, she started a prop the first three rounds off the interchange tonight. And, uh, well, it worked out quite well with... Well, sometimes these powerful runners can have real effect against fatiguing defenders. But then we saw the Marlins really strike back here. And look at that inside space there for Eli, especially once Tahole Liku fell over. Slipped over on the uh, on the dewy surface. Yeah, that was great vision there by uh, Kayla Eli, and it was a great ball from Tangaloa initially to get to her and the step back inside and uh, to get over there and score herself a four pointer. All right, now let's have a look at some stats for you here in the first half. And you can see completion rates again down a bit. Cities is under sixty percent. They'll need to improve that if they want to win this game. Just the one line break in the contest so far. But other than that, a pretty even-looking stat sheet. Yeah, a little interesting that um, City's had more possession but um, a trailing on the scoreboard. But, yeah, it seemed, uh, I guess the completion rate, obviously, there for the Marlins was 64%. They're getting to the end of their sets. I wouldn't agree with um, what they're doing on their final with, uh, you know, running from dummy half quite often. But... Um, Hopefully in the second half we see some better fifth and final options um, from the halves on both sides. Speaking of the second half, stay with us because that's coming up right after this. My teammates will describe me as probably the vocal person in the team, um, the one that probably communicates um, I would probably say the one that kind of like loves and keeps the team together. Um, the coach will probably <laughs> describe me as um, the annoying partner. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, my teammates would describe me as just the quiet one. Annoying. <laughs> um, funny, um, bit of humour, um, but passion for the game. Yeah. Um, they'll say I'm like the skinniest, the fastest. <laughs> the, um, probably that I'm loud. <laughs> um, and yeah, that I give a lot. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all about the music, man. It is all about the music. So, you know, before I'm like a duff duff girl, so, you know, when the music is on, I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, ladies. Music brings the energy. 
Welcome to Dating Projects, where we make your interior fit-outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project, and we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. I wear the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free, quality fit-out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. The decisions we make matter. The cloth you put on your back, that comes from somewhere. Ours is Ecotech and it comes from here. One of these equals 38 of these, not in landfill. High performance fabric worthy of what you stand for. Here come the two teams for the second half. City and Manurewa. It is 10 points to 6 to Manurewa. Looks pretty cold out there tonight. The grass is quite dewy, as we've seen with um, the number of boar handling errors um, in the first half of this game. Here we go as we kick off for the second half. Oh, can't kick. All smiles there by coach Rusty Matua. No relief, ladies. Time your own, ladies. On you, kick out. We're <coughs> good. So great start to the second half. There's a good jack tackle coming to start the second half. Good tackle by Noble Bell. Also Vai in there. And Molia Fraser as well. Oh, there's some good defence coming in from Tuitama. It's a good start by the forwards here. Capson as well. He had a big first half. Release! Quickly! Taria Eri. Here's Stowers. Last! Hands off! And there's the end of the set for Manurewa. Good catch here by Liku, and she's an elusive runner. Move, Always asks up. questions of the defence, doesn't she? Yeah, she is. Oh. Oh. Messi play the ball. I've seen that on several occasions tonight as well. It's a really good return from her, and unfortunately there in the play the ball. Oh, just never going to look good on the replay, that one, was it? No, especially not in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> so a big chance here for Find out. Let's go. 40 metres out Rusty Matua knows that there's a lot of work to do to get over the line in this game 
That's a good play. Got numbers on the short side here, but City had numbered up quite nice, and that's come forward off Mia Holo. So they're going to come back for a knock-on off the, the prop. That was a good read there by uh, Mia Holo. If I was out there, I'd just be telling my team to safety set, hold the ball, it's wet. Don't try anything, flash. Trying to push the pass a little bit too much when the conditions don't allow for that. Yeah, Mia Hollow is a good young prop, isn't she? Again, big future in rugby league, I reckon. Crystal. Oh, definitely. She's, she's going to have a massive future ahead of her. Great time for women's rugby league players, of course. With move the NRLW looming. And a lot more teams in it now than there used to be. Ten teams in the competition this year. Yeah, ten teams makes for a longer competition. We'll take the competition right out to October, which is exciting opportunities. Another drop ball here, another handling error for the Manirua Marlins. Yeah, on the line, lady. Knock on. Jump here on the line. So it's going to be a scrum, yeah. And Canberra Raiders signed a New Zealander today as well. A former Black Ferns player, actually, who switched to rugby league. Shyel robbins Retty, who played for Matutu in the Super Rugby Opiki this season, was a Black Ferns player last year. Didn't make the World Cup squad. Decided to sign with the Canberra Raiders. Outside back. Canberra Raiders have got an exciting looking side. We've got two of our Marlins ladies um, over at the Raiders and um, Mackenzie Wiki and Kirehina, uh, Kirehitine Matua. Um, so exciting times for, for our young ladies that are going across to Australia. Well, Matua, you know, powerful, she's a powerful player. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing Wiki in action too, just like her old man back in the day. Yeah, following in her dad's footsteps at uh, the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders could be a team to watch with... Robbins Retty there as well, so plenty of New Zealand interest. And here's a penalty, and of course the Kiwi Ferns are going to be playing later on in the year too, Crystal. Yes. At the end of the year, so there's lots to play for, for not only NRLW players, but plenty of players back in New Zealand who will be keen to make the Kiwi Ferns again. And here's Capson again. That one's drifted high, that tackle from Idaho Stowers. So here comes City now, 30 metres out. There's CK, the try scorer. Nancy CK, good tackle by Crystal Stowers. Cuts her down. Tuitama, good roll on here for City. As uh, Fortes slipped it back inside, and there's a try. A terrific score. The offload came, and the score has been made. I think it's Lavinia Fauhalaliku who's gone over to score the try. And we're back on even Stevens. It's 10 apiece. We watch the replay here. Barnstorming run by Vanessa Molia Fraser. He just manages to get that offload off. And who other have we got here to score the try? Then she's been playing well all game, uh, Glenn. Yeah, Lavinia Tauhalaliku wearing the one but playing in the centres. But Vanessa Molia Fraser, that is her at her best. Oh, it is. Terrific offload. She's so strong, strong. She's so strong on attack, and I know what she can do in defence. <laughs> I'll always remember we played in a test match. She played for Samoa, and I was playing for um, Kiwi Ferns, obviously. And, oh, man, she um, she hit me so hard. I was on smashing, bro. <laughs> 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 so I've been on the other end of um, Nessa's um, tackles, and it's not nice. <laughs> was that in 2020? I think it might have been. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think I remember that game. So yeah. a great effort from uh, from Molia Fraser to create that. And now here's a, uh, a conversion attempt coming up. And unfortunately not going to make it this time is Naomi Purcell. So 10, all the score remains. So Manodei will score a try, City come back. Manodei will score another try, and City come back again. She's deserved that try this evening. She has. She's been so good on the kick returns. Anytime the Marlins have kicked the ball down, she's returned the ball strong. Um, she's been good on defense also on her edge. So she's been, do she's been doing really well tonight, and she definitely deserves that try. Come 
on your run. <laughs> so City buoyed by that try. Keener gets stuck in again. And Mia Hall has lost it stone cold there. No, it's been stripped. Love watching Mia Hollow wind up. So does Bronson Harden, the coach of the City team. <laughs> Look at the numbers. Trying to tackle her. Four players there. Oh. Keep going, keep going. I tell you what, as we rejoin the play, CK has made a terrific run. Left players sprawling in her wake. City got a big roll on here. This is Capson. Tuitama, look at the space. Away goes Pearl Tuitama. She's been brilliant tonight out of dummy half. Paris Pickering slots in now to dummy half. Good hands on the inside. And there's another try for City. Back-to-back -back scores. Jen Ryu inside ball. And Molia Fraser, who created the first try a moment ago, or the, in the second half, gets one herself. Too strong, too powerful, Vanessa Molia Fraser. As we see here in the replay, but dropped underneath. She had two defenders on her, Stow was on her back, and she still managed to get over the try line. Great little inside ball by Jen Ryu as well. And no doubt about that score. Vanessa Molia Fraser. There's some pretty powerful ball runners. And there's CK to the right there. Now that run she made to set that try up was huge. It was a massive run. Damaging duo between the two of them. I ought to think that Mia Holo and Lani Marie Latour Williams are there as well. Summer Capson's had her moments too charging up. There's some big ball runners in that city. Definitely. Middle. Got a very strong forward pack. And they've all been they've all been playing well tonight, doing their job, getting go forward for the city side. Yeah, we haven't mentioned Noble Bell either. Bit of concern there, I think, for Taria Ere, who injured her shoulder in the first half. Yeah, I was surprised to see her come back on so early um, mm. after she was down for quite some time, and it looks like she's um, re-aggravated that injury that she sustained earlier on in the game. So 14 to 10, good comeback here from the, from the City team. The Marlins, re remember, led 10-6 at halftime, but they've scored two tries inside the first 10 minutes, City. And it's been the power of Molia Fraser. It's been to the four. So plenty for the Marlins to think about. City making a very impressive start to the second half. No early, baby. Time you run on your kicker. <laughs> so here comes Mia Holo lining it up. Just lost a bit of momentum as she was running off the back fence. Get the timing of that right. Crystal, look out. That's what I reckon. Here's CK. Second player up. This time they've looked after her nicely. Play them all! Play them all! Go but look, she rolled onto her front, and there goes the speed of the play. The ball again. Capson's the next player up. Ruck speed hey! is good from City. It's really hurting Mount Ma Manorewa at the moment, although that's better. Go three, fine. Play on. Here's Nancy CK again. City are just winning My the ruck, getting quick play the ball. Manorewa Marlins are really struggling I'm around the ruck area. Marcus are struggling to even get back on side at the moment. Here's Jen Ryu again. Oh, the tackle was high. A tough call maybe a little bit there on Idaho Stowers. He's not the tallest player. But you've got to get your margin right. Yeah, you do. Whether they're short or tall. Play on, keep going. CK. Stowers in there trying to get a grip on her. Hey, stand now. Such a powerful runner, CK. And a huge difference since she's come on, hasn't she? She has. She's been massive impact off the bench for City tonight. To Itama. And a lovely little short ball. And it's Naomi Purcell. Oh. 
Here's Miyaholo. Miyaholo. It's try again. It's the big power runners up the middle who are having a field day right now. And Miyaholo goes over to score a try, her second of the season. And it is 18 to 10. And City need hosing down. They are on fire. She deserves that try also, Glenn. She's been working hard all game, getting the momentum through the middle for City. As we see here, Tuitama straight to Holo. Oh. Just powers over the top of Joseph. Yeah, she is getting in good position there. Timing her run perfectly. Running at a smaller player. That's trademark front row try right there. It is. Good late footwork at the line. Yeah, excellent work there by Mia Holo. That looked a bit sore there with the bit of a forearm to to the throat of um, Joseph. <laughs> Hope she's okay. Especially with a powerful run of um, Holo and her strength behind it. Joanna Naima Purcell couldn't convert that try, so the score remains 18 to 10. So here is the Marlins. Got work to do all of a sudden. Yeah, there's been a massive shift in the game in the last um, five minutes or so. Is it what? And they've just got it. There's no other. <laughs> it's fairly simple, isn't it, rugby league? You just got to get up and put. The ball runners on the deck, Crystal. Yes, you do. <laughs> and you just got to hold the ball and run yeah. forward. Yeah. Sounds pretty simple it sitting does. up here. It is a simple <laughs> game, but it's just a lot of it comes down to heart and courage a lot of the time, doesn't it? Yeah, and definitely fitness too, Glenn. Absolutely. Fitness, heart and courage. It takes you a long way. So the Marlins have just got to get up in the face of these big ball runners and put them down like they were doing in the first half. Maulia Fraser with a good return of the football. Here comes the next runner, Nancy CK, and that's better. That is better. They've got to get their bodies in front, especially in front of these um, powerful forwards of the city side. Get their bodies in front because they can't slow them down with just arms tackles, which um, they've been doing. Mia Holo trying to break through tackles again. Repia. Really up the speed, and next player up. Ready, good charge ready, at the ready. line here from Naomi Purcell. Oh, the injury. Stowers down and back play. Could be a big blow for Manurewa if she wasn't able to continue. Here's Capson. And referee's going to stop play here for Crystal Stowers. Referee Brent Newton just concerned, I think, if the player drifted left that. But Stowers might have been in the way. She doesn't look happy, Crystal Stowers. Hopefully it's nothing major. It's hard to tell what it might be. Wrist, elbow. Yeah, it looked like an arm, didn't it? Yeah. She's actually battling with um, rheumatoid arthritis, so she gets a lot of problems in her, her um, joints, and especially in her wrists and her elbows, so it could potentially be something to do with that. It's a pretty brutal kind of ailment, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And while Stowers is being attended to, let's have a look at these last two tries again. Oh. Here's Molly Fraser powering over, just squeezing between two defenders, and then we see Holo doing the same closer to the post this time. She's so powerful. She timed her run perfectly. Just powered over the top of Joseph to score that try. Took along another three players as well. Yeah, Holo's got excellent speed off the mark. Tackle for Ryu. Puts Hapuku down. So Manurewa now gets some ball. As Karaka Whitaka puts her body on the line, doesn't she? Here's Eli. She's going nowhere either. Strong player, though. Look at her. She's so oh, strong. Lovely offload, too. Here's Karaka Whitaker again. 
That's Logan Puru Perry. In fact, it's Puru Perry, yes. Yeah. Sorry, Bat. Sorry, you got that spot on. Oh, she made a little error in the play, the ball, Puru Perry. That's our luck for her. Just as they start to get some momentum, those little errors creep back in. I think a bit of fatigue is setting in here and causing them to make some errors. Find up, lady. Oh, big set here for Manurewa to defend. Tua, he probably knows exactly Richard. how this game has fallen. fallen behind for his team ah. now. City powering okay. since half time. Nice little pass late Move. at the line. Now. Tohala Liku was the beneficiary as Tuitama. Good run by Vaiti. She's playing well, isn't she, Lavinia? Tohala, Tohala Liku is pickering. Tuitama. Capson back to CK. She said hard this time behind the ruck, Nancy CK. Release now, AT, with me, Rewa. Make me. Thank you. Go for it. Here's Hollow again. Ah! Stow is just back in the line now. Cutting it out oh, in the second oh. half. As City moving into scoring possibilities again. Tal Halaliku. Got her wrapped up, and that's the end of the set. Couldn't put the attacking kick in that time. There's a good defensive set there from the Marlins. See a lot of tired bodies out there at the moment. So the back five need to get in and, and help the forwards out and get some yardage. It's worth mentioning again, isn't it? All, both, all these teams backed up from last Sunday, so only a three-day turnaround here. Exactly, yeah. They'll be extremely tired and... I know for the Marlins game, it was a very physical game against Tanifaro, so there'll be some sore bodies that haven't had a chance to recover yet. But like you said earlier as well for the men's game, that they get a 10-day turnaround to have a bit of a rest. Oh, penalty there again, Michaela. Eli showing her power there. She's got very powerful legs. She's a tackle buster. Good kick for touch there. And now Manure Manurewa. Lauren. Right back from Australia to provide some punch. Yep. <laughs> Puru Petty. Joseph a dummy half. But more impetus into the line this time from Tara. This is better from Manurewa. A bit more pace in the set. A bit more intensity. Ruck speed a bit better. Now an injured player for City in that tackle. I think her head may have hit her knee, um, Crystal Stowers. And then I think one of the City players may have cramp. Well, it all, ha all happened in that tackle, didn't it? I think as she was falling to the ground, she might have hit her head on her knee. Oh, her head got squashed. And I think the city player has yeah, crap. <laughs> well, that's a shame for Manu Rewa because they had a good role on there. They did. They had some good momentum, which they haven't had for a while, um, you know, through the second half. They got some momentum and then someone got injured and it's um, slowed it down again. Well, one of the stars of the game, Lavinia Tauhalaliku. Oh, Jakarane. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be home. Oh, it's Sis Ledger. Good to see him out there tonight. What a legend he is. It's so always good to see Sis around. He's, he's done so much, especially when he was helping out Point Chev, and it's always appreciated when you have um, 
you know, the top side players coming in and helping in the female space. Absolutely. Well, he's giving back to the game now. He's the assistant coach for the Akarana 20s in the Ruben Wiki Cup this year as well. Yeah, backwards is Fiend out. Not often you see that. Here's Joseph. Now they need some front foot running ball here, the Marlins. And Tara tries to provide it. Joseph again. Stow is back in the position for first receiver. Good play from Anderson. Here's Tangaloa taking the gap there. And the pass. It's been called forward. It's been called forward to Hapuku. That was a that was good vision there by Molly Tangaloa. Held her up, held the centre up just perfectly. Little pop pass over the top there, which unfortunately the ref has called forward to deny the Marlins. But in saying that, I actually don't think that Harpuki got over no. the line. I think she was taken out before she had the opportunity to put the ball down. I think Tangaloa might have been caught in two minds there, just a bit too there. Two. I reckon she should have went herself. Been, yeah, she was yeah. just caught in two minds there. But if she, I reckon if she'd taken the gap, she would have not gone home and got the try. It's a big moment in the game there. Ooh. Ooh, it's called a loose carry. Big play there from, oh, from Benny Repia. Big celebrations there. Very proud of the, their efforts in that, uh, in that tackle. Especially the captain. Looks like, uh, I reckon the referee got that one spot on, actually. Pudu Tongia, just a little bit careless with the ball. Big chance here for Manu Dewa. Got to look after the ball. You no know, errors. The way to go is Tangaloa. Driven back by Tohala Liku. That's great stuff from her. Hands off. Yeah. Back on the line. Yes. Go one. Move now. Get square marker. Go two. Stowers feeds the ball to Mary Jane oh, Finau. Off the ball. Oh, here go two. Joseph now to Crystal Stowers. Here's Idaho Stowers, lost and picked up there by City. So opportunity's gone begging. It's a poor play there, and now City are back in position of the ball. Manadua really needed to defend hard here. 17 minutes to play. Three tries in the second half for City. After they trailed 10-6 at halftime. Earlier tonight, Mount Albert. In the men's competition, too good for Bay Roskill, winning by 30 points to 16. Timmy Tam has lost her mouth guard. Holo standing wide of the ruck, intercepted. Here we go. Harpoku. Has she got the gas? Pickering's cutting her down. Ryu is there too, and Tohala Liku. But uh, still the chance remains here for Manurewa. They're going to plug the short side. It's Tangaloa. What a brilliant intercept. Yeah, Alexis Hapuka. Hapuku, rather. Crystal Stowers looking for a bit of space behind the ruck again. And she gets her team a penalty. Very smart play there. Wow, what a great intercept by Harpuku. She read that one. Paris Pickering, great chase back from her, though. So now here's Manurewa. Well, this is almost must score territory for them. They want to win this game. 16 minutes to play. Joseph. Here's a chance for Munukoa. But City's big players are up the middle. Look after her comfortably on that occasion. Joseph. Crystal Stowers. Now Tara. Looking for that offload. Can't get it though. 
Now is a chance for Idaho Stowers. Now Eli can power over. Not this time. Got that try in the first half, Michaela. Eli now. Here's Idaho Stowers again. That's a good pass. Look at the numbers open. Repia is going to stroll over. Benny Repia getting the try. Oh, my gosh, she was making me nervous. She was celebrating <laughs> before she even scored the try, and I've seen some people bomb it like that. So <laughs> glad she got that ball down to score that try. It was never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought that in the NRLW, Glenn, and I've seen some guys <laughs> celebrate and then drop the ball on the try line. Glad that wasn't the case here, and a beautiful try here by Lavinia Repia. Which yes. I don't even know her by that name because we call her Binny. So Binny, that's right. it sounds weird saying that. <laughs> that's exactly right. But really credit to Idaho Stowers here at this pass here. A big cutout pass. Rex Anderson, I think, through that. Oh, Rex yeah, Rex Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. yeah, that was a brilliant ball. Good vision by Rex there also. Yeah, very good. So 18 to 14. And now the game's on again, isn't it? It is. So Tangaloa's got the responsibility. She's kicked one from two so far. Benny Lepi has been at lock in the first three games. It switched to the edge today. Here's the conversion attempt. And Porton kicked this one. Away. Waved away. It's not converted. 18 to 14. Still came on here with around 13 to play. Very good try. Well done to Anderson who created it with that big pass. Captain looks super happy there with her <laughs> with her four points. Now let's see what happens from here. Game's not done yet. Far from it. It's really come alive. For 30 minutes we had no score at all in that first half. Oh, I think Manurewa have just got it. They have. Oh, it's been ruled a knock-on. Now, what's referee Newton going to rule here? He's ruled a double knock-on, but it's going to be Manurewa for a scrum feed. That's his ruling. Well, he could be right there. It's a bit hard to see from that angle. Should be able to see it here. Yeah, I think it's been knocked forward there initially by that city player. So Manare, we've got it. Eli bust, busting tackles again. Can't get those legs pumping though, can she? Oh, There's a bit of a stagnant run there off that pass from Idaho Stowers. Wasn't able to get any momentum, but there's Antara here. That's big defense on Manurewa. On Dominated there by Latour Williams. Yeah, Liza Antara felt the full force of that. Now Mary Jane Finau. Good roll on here. Anderson cuts back to Stowers, who smashed. Great tackle from Pudu Tongia. And here goes Anderson's kick inside the 40. Going back. 
to field it, but under Good heat, defense. big time there was Kamuhemu. Good kick chase there by Anderson and Hapuku. Yeah, not much Kamuhemu could do on that occasion. This style is making her millionth tackle of the game. On Latu. Very busy to that tonight's game, defensively. This time, Halaliku again. Exciting ball runner again. Good tackling again by Manurea. They've just upped the intensity just a little bit in that area of the game. Tahala Liku looked like she might have caught one there. That last play, that's Molia Fraser hit hard too. Just owning up in D a little bit now, Crystal. Yeah, they are. They've seemed to find their second win, the Manurea Marlins, and they've seemed to come alive as we see Tangaloa returning the ball here. Yeah, good kick downfield by Ryu, but Tangaloa makes good post meters, post contact meters rather. Under 10 minutes to play now. Purupiri. To uh, just take a run, get the big forwards, who big forwards, just a bit more time to get set for the next play. Takawa loses her footing. Anderson, she's had a good game. Yeah, it's good to see Rex back out there and playing some rugby league again. Coming to the end of their set, see what the fifth and final option looks like for the Manurewa Marlins on the set. Let's see if they can put something together here. Tangaloa, now Eli... Again, no real space for her. Bounce is going to be important here. Eli's got it. Stowers there. Stowers for the line. Oh, she's there. Crystal Stowers, great finish. Well, that try was brilliant from the Marlins. Came from nothing. What a beautiful kick by Eli. Didn't look like there was much going on down that left edge. But a beautiful kick there and a beautiful chase for Kayla Eli to regather that. Still had a little bit of work to do as we wait on our replay. See here, there's nothing much going on. She does a little chip over the top, chases the ball, contests for it and regathers the ball. Dummies here and draws in that winger there. And what a beautiful finish here by Crystal Stowers. Eli did brilliantly there, didn't she? Not only with the kick, but that pa the pass to Stowers needed to be Absolutely perfect. Everything about what Eli just did was perfect pinpoint. The kick, the regather, the holding up of the winger, and then the pass to Stowers for her to finish with this four-point try. Wow. Now it's for the lead here. It's Eli. Yeah, she's a good goal kicker, isn't she? She is to take the lead for the Marlins. Kayla Eli is having an outstanding game tonight. Well, well, well. That is a very impressive comeback. I would have thought with City up 18 to 10, the way the game was, the momentum of that game was at that point of the game. I'm trying to say here, Crystal, I thought <laughs> City might have run away with it a little bit. But fair play to the Marlins. They've come back beautifully. Yeah, you're right, Glenn. The momentum was definitely going in the favour of the city, at, you know, at one point. And when it was 18-10 and sort of thought, oh, Manirewa are going to have to really try hard to get themselves back in the game. And that they've done. They've worked hard. And um, this, they're reaping the rewards here with a beautiful try by Crystal Stowers. Well, City have just got to go back to what was working well for them at the start of this half. Get those big forwards moving up the middle. And that's what, their, that's what their strong point has been tonight is their strong, powerful forwards getting them good momentum up the middle. And off the back of that, they've got their um, experience in Tui Tame Hooker, who's jumping out and getting the forwards, um, you know, running onto the ball perfectly. Her timing out of dummy half is good, her vision and everything. So let's see what um, the Manirewa Marlins can do from this set. Well, six minutes to play. We're going to have a grandstand finish here. Make me, make me. Looks like uh, Munukua has been just got a, a finger in the eye or somewhere around the eye region. You 
Let's see if we can pick up this injury again. Hold the ball up, please. Tackle one. Hang on, steady. Wait, wait, steady. Make me. Well, yeah, there it goes there, I think. It'll be Pearl Tuitama, who just come in with a finger. Yeah, it looked like that. Nothing intentional, of course. Tara. She's played well, number 22, when she's been on all, oh, she's had been hit hard. Takawa. <laughs> Teammates on the sideline loved it. Here's Repia. <laughs> 22 off the ball. They try oh, earlier in the second half. That got the Marlins back into the contest. That's Anderson. Good kick from her, but Paris Pickering back in good position. What can she do? Paris Pickering almost through. Good return off the ball there, and she's still driving forward. Paris Pickering. She is such a talent, this young girl. Yeah, she has been on the radar of the juniors for a while, and there is a. She's earned a penalty off the back of this play as well. well let's see if City can get a roll on here. Get their big forwards. Pumping up the middle again. One last effort. They're down by two points. They need to fire up here. Philly Moyatu with that run. Lato Williams with that one. And who's up next? It's Mia Holo. Mia Holo looking for that gap up the middle. She's so strong and powerful. Tuitama. Nice and deep. This is Ryu. Here's Morlia Fraser. Morlia Fraser. That's the line. And Tahaliliku's there. City are back in front. What a try. Looked like Morlia Fraser was going to get pulled back by her hair there for a second. But she managed to break free and get another offload. What she's done, on this is her second try assist of the game. Well, that is arguably the best set by either of these two teams in the game. They roll f forward really well there. Very smart of her to, to get that ball away. I think in most instances, people would have tried to get over themselves and power over themselves. Fantastic offload. And Tauhala Liku's always going to be hard to stop that close to the line, Crystal. Oh, definitely. She's so strong and so powerful. Um, she's not the biggest of people, but she is extremely strong. But I'll tell you who else is strong is Vanessa Wild Fraser. She is just so powerful. Well, Manurewa's lead only lasted a couple of minutes. And now they have to find something deep within themselves to come back, Crystal. Yeah, they're going to have to dig deep the Marlins. Two points the difference at the moment, um, depending on the result of this kick. But the Marlins are going to have to really dig deep in these last couple of minutes um, to get themselves back in the game. Change of cold kicker here. This is Brianne Fortes. He's trying to line this one. She's doing a good job of soaking up some time on the clock too, dare I say it. Not going to have the distance. So 22 to 20. Lavinia Tauhalaliku with her second try of the game. Got one on uh, Saturday against Otara. Got one the week before against Otahu as well. Miss, miss, up here, up here. Cool. Proud little shout out to her mum. And her dad as well. Well, short kick off here, Crystal, with just under two minutes to play. Surely. Do you think that'll be the, the tactic, run. Glenn? <laughs> but it's not in this case. No. One minute to play. But that would suggest that all City need to do here is hold the ball, no, and that's brilliant yeah. from Morlia Fraser again. Yeah. Hold. Hold. Go on. To Itama. Here's Latour Williams. Will Manurewa get a, a, the ball back for one last dig? 
It's going to be tough to see the way City are controlling the game here and managing this last hey, minute. Off the ball. That's three tackles. Here's Hollo, one of the real stars of the game. Mia Hollo, to Itama. Capson, that was. Here's the kick from Ryu. She just wants to put this in the corner. Nicely taken by Puru Petty. So it will be one last chance for Manurewa, but they've got to go 90 metres to win the game. Tangaloa. Anderson at dummy half. She's had a terrific game. Oh, she scragged, though. Great effort there from Pohala Liku. But Anderson got going. Now, can Eli heat up here? Puru Petty. He's going to have a little dab on this left wing side. She's got to stay in the field of play. City have got the win in this game. Well, a really tight contest. Nothing in this contest between City and Manurewa. But City have got there just by 22 points to 20. That's their second win of the season from four games. Manu, they were now one from four. But there was nothing in that with City winning it with a fantastic try with just three minutes to go. And they get the two competition points. Stay with us. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this. My teammates will describe me as probably the vocal person in the team, um, the one that probably communicates. Um, I would probably say the one that kind of like loves and keeps the team together. Um, the coach will probably <laughs> describe me as um, the annoying partner. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, my teammates would describe me as the quiet one. Annoying. <laughs> um, funny, um, hint of humour, and the passion for the game. Yeah. And they'll say I'm like the skinniest, the fastest. <laughs> that, um, probably that I'm loud. <laughs> um, and yeah, that I give a lot. Yeah. Oh man, I'm all about the music, man. It is all about the music. So, you know, before, I'm like a stuff stuff girl, so, you know, when the music is on, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go, ladies. Music brings the energy. I love you. <laughs> Welcome to Dayton Projects, where we make your interior fit outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project. And we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. Hi, we're the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. The decisions we make matter. The cloth you put on your back, that comes from somewhere. Ours is Ecotech, and it comes from here. 
One of these equals 38 of these, not in landfill. High performance fabric worthy of what you stand for. Well, what a terrific game of uh, women's rugby league we've seen in the Auckland Championship or Premiership this evening with City beating Manurewa by just two points, 22 to 20. Fantastic game with Manurewa up 10-6 at half time. Three quick tries in the second half to City, had them up 18-10. And then Manurewa took the lead 20 to 18. And then this three minutes from time, a beautifully executed play here. Molia Fraser really charging into the line, just held up. And the late offload to Lavinia Tohalaliku. And that was the match-winning score with four minutes to play. Brilliant try. They went 60, 70 metres on that set. Fantastic finish. And here's the try coming. <laughs> That's what it means to win, doesn't it? It's a great effort from City to dig deep and win this contest. By 22 points to 20. It's a really good uh, score. Four, five tries to City. CK, Tahila Liku, who got two. And Molia Fraser and Mia Holo. Oh, what a game she had. So five tries. And Amanurewa got three, four tries in the game. Finau got the first. Eli got one Repia and Crystal Stowers. So there are the full-time stats. Pretty even, as you'd expect, with the scoreline being as close as well. Just total sets maybe uh, just shading uh, in City's favour. But uh, a very good game of women's rugby league ended up being after a slow start where we were nil all after 30 minutes. Right, let's get down to Crystal Rota with some aftermatch reaction now. Crystal, take it away. Pearl, you guys were trailing at half time against the Marlins and then you just made a good comeback in that second half. What was the message from coach at half time? Um, pretty much our coach just told us it's all down to effort. Like we've had a really slow start to this season with our numbers and uh, getting numbers at training, so we're still learning our combos, but really it all came down to effort and um, who wanted it more pretty much. And you, Lavinia, you're outstanding out the back there. Got yourself a couple of tries, dedicated them to your parents. But how good were your forwards going through the middle tonight? I think they're, they're really good. We share the work and make it easier for the backs to score all those tries. <laughs> Great speech. Now, well done, ladies, and all the best for the rest of your guys' season. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Kia ora, Bunny. Uh, great game by yourself tonight. Got yourself a try. But um, Monday to Marlins in the rebuilding phase, I would say. But the girls had a gut, gutsy effort tonight. How proud of you are, the, are you of them? Uh, e poho kereru ana hau ki taku ropu. Um, ai, ko tā mātou, hei whakapakari anō i te ropu. Uh, he kai tākoro hau. Nō reira, ko tā mātou, hei tākoro i te rauna tuatahi. Um, ka, ka eke anō ki te rauna tuarara. Kia ora. Kia ora, so you're very proud of them. Thank you for your time and all the best for the rest of your season. <laughs> well, great stuff there from Bini Repia. But unfortunately, her team not getting over the line in this Women's Premiership League match tonight. The City winning by 22 points to 20. Earlier on, of course, congratulations to the Mount Albert Lions that won the men's match by 30 points to 16. So there we are. Another Wednesday night league wrapped up for you here from North Harbour Stadium. Good news is, though, we'll be back next Wednesday to do it all again with a double header. But next week, of course, we're going to have the women's match first and then the men's match at 8 o'clock. Thanks for watching this evening, folks, and we'll catch you next Wednesday.